Class 3 Science Worksheets on Plants Let us start the first worksheet with fill in the blanks. Here kids need to fill the blanks with the correct word given in the brackets. First one, the roots of a plant grow above or below the ground. Answer is below. Question number two, the dash stem or leaf carries water and nutrients from the roots to the entire plant. Answer is stem. Question number three. The flat broad portion of the leaf is called midrib or leaf blade. Answer is leaf blade. Question number four. Flowers or fruits have bright colors but their main function is to make seeds. Answer is flowers. Number five. The Leaves or fruits are soft and juicy. Answer is fruits. Question number six. The roots or stem absorb the water and hold the plant in the soil. Answer is roots. For question B, kids need to choose the odd one from the given options. Number one, rice, corn, banana and beans. Here odd one is banana because banana is a fruit whereas others are seeds we eat. Number two, wheat, maize, jowar and pea. Here odd one is pea because pea is a dicotyledon whereas others are monocotyledons. For question C, kids need to write the names of the following. Number one. A plant having tap roots. Answer is neem tree. Number two, a plant having fibrous roots. Answer is grass. Question number three, a plant breathes through their tiny holes. Answer is stomata. Question number four, a gas which comes out during photosynthesis. Answer is oxygen. Number 5. This part of seed is fleshy. Answer is seed leaf or cotyledon. Number 6. This part stores food in its root. Answer radish. For question D, kids need to take the correct answer from the given options. Number 1. Which part makes food for the plant? Answer is leaves. Question number two, the part of the plant that grows above the ground is called, answer is shoot. Number three, what type of root does a coconut tree have? Answer is fibrous root. In this worksheet, kids need to write the differences between tap root and fibrous root. So under tap root, they can write, it has one thick main root that goes deep inside the soil and under fibrous root they can write this root do not have a main root and does not go very deep into the soil. Another point is smaller and thinner roots grow from the main root. Few examples are radish, turnip and carrot and for fibrous root it has bunch of small and thin bushy roots growing from the base of the stem. Examples are rice, wheat, corn and grass. Now some descriptive question and answers. First question is what is photosynthesis? Draw and label the process of photosynthesis in plants. Answer is the process by which Plants make food with the help of sunlight, water, carbon dioxide and chlorophyll is called photosynthesis. For the next part of this question, they can draw like this. I have already uploaded a video on photosynthesis. I will put the link in the description box and also in the i button so that you can check the video for better understanding. Question G. 
What is germination? What does a seed require to germinate? Answer is the growth of a seed into a young plant is called germination. A seed needs air, water and warmth to germinate. Question H. What is the role of chlorophyll in plants? Answer is chlorophyll helps the plants trap sunlight to make food and the green color of the leaves is also because of chlorophyll, a green substance. Question I. Give reason farmers spray insecticides on the crop. Answer is farmers spray insecticides on the crops to save them from harmful insects like locusts, caterpillars and grasshoppers. That's all for now. Thanks for watching Kids A to Z.